This is an absolute disaster for the Republican Party, and we need to turn back. Do you see any plan out of Washington, D.C. to do anything to fix anything? No. It was, it was just how bad the other side was. Definitely not a Republican wave, that's for darn sure. Ron DeSantis had a plan. Greg Abbott had a plan. Mike Dwight, they all articulated a vision for mm. their people. I'm looking at the rest of the team, and you know who the leader of the rest of the team is, and the rest of the team didn't do well tonight. We're barely, if, we're, it looks like the Republicans will barely take the House. I think last night was the biggest indicator that Donald Trump should not be the Republican nominee in 2024. He cost the Republicans winnable seats by boosting poor quality candidates. Hats off to the Democrats. They perform well in a lot of these swing districts. We have the worst inflation in four decades, the worst collapse in real wages in 40 years, the worst crime wave since the 1990s, the worst border crisis in U.S. history. We have Joe Biden, who is the least popular president since Harry Truman, since presidential polling happened, and there wasn't a red wave. That is a searing indictment of the Republican Party. That is a searing indictment of the message that we have been sending to the voters. They looked at all of that and said, and looked at the Republican alternative and said, no thanks. And you thought you had a bad night. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Fox News freakout, Republican meltdown, conservative implosion. Whatever you want to call it, the anger in the GOP over the midterm election outcome is off the charts. Instead of winning the House by 30 seats, as most Republican lawmakers and pundits predicted, the GOP will be lucky to win the House by five. Instead of the GOP taking the Senate, it now looks like Democrats will keep control. According to a Donald Trump advisor, the former president is super pissed and screaming at everyone over humiliating midterms. And a Trump stooge is attacking the former president. Ted Cruz bashes celebrity untested Republican candidates for blowing red wave. Experience matters. In contrast to the Republican frustrations and infighting Democrats in the Biden White House are thrilled. I have been in touch with the White House. They are giddy and gleeful as they should be mm. about where things are sitting right now, Rachel. But also candidates, regardless of what the outcome was, candidates were not running against the Biden agenda. And what Jen Psaki means is that Democratic candidates embrace things like the Inflation Reduction Act, doing something about climate change and building up roads and bridges. And Republicans did not attack those items. So clearly the Biden Democratic agenda is popular, even if President Biden himself is not. But there are a couple of other issues that, in my view, made a big difference in this midterm election. First, the issue of reproductive rights was huge. There's every indication that turnout among younger voters and women was significant compared to the typical midterm election. And exit polls say these voters were driven by the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision allowing states to take away abortion rights. The exit polls also indicate that a lot of Democrats turned out because they were still seething at the GOP over January the 6th and the threats to democracy. In countless races, candidates closely aligned with Donald Trump did not fare well, and many voters rejected the Trump-style pugnacious approach. These bastards back there don't want us talking about stolen elections. We had a big day today, and don't let those cheaters and crooks think anything different. Don't let them doubt. Don't let them put doubt in you. Well, the numbers are clear. Trump protege Kerry Lake lost in Arizona. A lot of other Trump candidates and election deniers lost as well. Democrats outperformed midterm history, and now Republican infighting has begun. Grab the popcorn and enjoy. Conservatives are melting down.